Capital Combat Parlay here with relentless Randy Turner, uh, who is just training here in preparation for his fight on the 8th of December in Red Deer, Alberta, against Justin Basra. How you doing? Very good. Thank you very much. How was your morning training here? Today it was good. It was a good grind, good push. I got uh, one of my lead coaches for this uh, this fight preparation, Mark Holtz, leading the way, and uh, he brought in a couple of good training partners today. So we put in uh, some some good solid work for a couple hours. Randy Turner, you are called relentless. Uh, many people here in this region have have seen you fight. You've been involved in mixed martial arts now for almost a decade and you are a member of the Canadian Armed Forces for almost two decades. I find that very interesting. You're a professional soldier as well as a professional combat sports uh, athlete. Speak to us on the duality of that. Um, yeah, I think the, the name, the nickname Relentless came from a few of my training partners um, just through grueling sessions. Um, it, came, it became apparent, I think, that um, I don't, uh, I don't back down easily and I kind of just keep pushing forward and, and, and always looking, looking to finish whatever it is that I'm trying to, co trying to complete. Now, that, that same methodology or that same um, way of life translates well into my military um, profession as well as MMA. So whatever I try to, try to attack or try to go for, I, I go for full, full on, wholeheartedly and, and you know, with the best intentions in mind. Now, we, we saw you fight a couple of weeks ago at Rec MMA. You fought Chad and Helliger from uh, Alberta, from Calgary, Alberta, I believe. And uh, speak to us about that fight. It was the main event at Rec MMA show on November 9th or 6th, I believe. That's right. It was uh, the 10th. The 10th. Um, that's right. It was, uh, it was <laughs> the U.S. Marine Corps birthday and uh, day before Remembrance Day. So it was kind of special. Um, yeah, I fought Chad. Um, Chad's a tough game opponent. I get all the respect in the world for him. Um, yeah, we, we came out, touched gloves. I felt great. I had a good pop in my step, and uh, I felt really strong, confident going in. Um, unfortunately, I made a technical error early in the first round, and, and Chad capitalized. He did a very good job of capturing my neck and, and securing a guillotine choke. So um, his night was, uh, was the night of the 10th of November, but uh, that's behind us now. Uh, we learned from uh, our mistakes, um, watched a lot of footage, spoke with my coaches. We recognized the mistakes that I made, and... And now it's on to uh, fighting Justin Basra and um, different game, uh, different opponent and different approach. So um, hats off to Chad, well done to him and his team. But now the focus is, is December 8th. Speak to us about uh, Basra, your opponent. Mm -hmm. So what I know of Basra is he's, um, he's a strong wrestler. Uh, I believe he's a national rank wrestler. And um, he's, he's, got, he's got some experience in Muay Thai, some amateur stuff in, in MMA. So he's well versed in the combat sport. Um, I know he's going to come uh, come strong. I know he comes from a strong team, and that's fine. I wouldn't want to fight uh, anybody other than high-quality guys. So I'm looking forward to fighting him. I think um, what I bring is is a different level of intensity that he may think that he's a scene or he's experienced in wrestling, but I truly believe um, what I plan to bring on the 8th of December is nothing that he's ever seen before. It's very interesting. We were, we've been here watching you train this morning, and in particular, I noticed you're very calm, confident, and very present throughout your training. You're, you truly are relentless in, in your approach, and we look forward to seeing you fight Basra. Now, I'd like to ask you a question about uh, combatives in the Canadian Armed Forces. We know that it's becoming very, very popular throughout the country. Speak to us about that and your thoughts on the military combatives. Yeah, I think it is It is growing. There's, there's more exposure. Um, there seems to be a lot more education out there to the benefits that combatives bring to being a holistic soldier in the Canadian Armed Forces. There's a lot of good people that have good intentions with the combative uh, orientation. So the, you know, the Canadian Force member has the exposure, has the ability to train and compete so they can get a feel for all the psychological stuff that goes along with competition, um, what the athlete or the soldier has to contend with either in a, um, in a, um, a combat competition context that translates well into what they potentially could see in an operational uh, context. So I think the two complement each other quite well and the fact that there is a growing presence with the combative uh, games, if you will, in the Canadian Forces, I think it's awesome. It's, it's all positive all the way around. Awesome. Uh, one last question. You've been involved in, in combat sports now, particularly mi mixed martial arts for a decade. Over the years, what, how have you evolved your game and grown as a competitor? What have you focused on and, and refined the most? Um, I think the biggest thing is the psychological component, especially over the last year or so. 
Um, I've been exposed to a couple of uh, great individuals uh, with some profession in, in the sports psychology realm, and they've kind of they've uh, highlighted a few areas that I was overlooking and maybe not paying enough attention to. So I took it upon myself over the last year or so to start studying and applied sports psychology. And I find some of that stuff not only interesting, and, and I, I just want to learn more, but it's very applicable to being a combat athlete as well as being a combat soldier. And the more we understand about what's going on internally and how we can channel those emotions or those physiological changes that are experienced in combat, the better we'll be and, and the best step forward will always be taken. Great. Thank you very much for your time. Uh, I know you're a very busy man, and we wish you all the best in, uh, in Red Deal, Al Alberta. We'll be watching, and all the best to you. Thank you very much, and thanks for, uh, thanks for what you guys do as well. Getting it out there is important. You know, the more education and the more exposure that everyone gets and sees from the positive realm that uh, combative sports brings to the Canadian Armed Forces, I think it's awesome. So um, genuinely, sincerely, thank you. Relentless Randy Turner.